don't know if it's working or oh. not. Is anybody there? I'm here. Can you hear me? Sure. Hi. Oh boy, am I out here all by myself? I don't hear anybody oh, talking. Uh, yes, hi, hello, hi. Sir. Yes, hello. Oh. oh, my little loop ended so soon. Oh, I'll play some more. I love that riff. Oh, well, this was uh, definitely worth it. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're right now. We're in good light. No, I don't. Uh, nobody else has spoken of it. I'm here. Uh, we're back. We're back. We're back on the. Uh, oh, God. Hope- Hopefully this is higher energy than the uh, that debate was, but uh, oof, oof. I'm back with Mike. I'm back with Ghoul. Uh, Chris Cantwell, Radical Agenda. He's joining us. Are you there, Chris? Oh boy. Oh, I suppose not. I don't know where Andrew is either. I don't see. Yeah, him. we're supposed to have Anglin back uh, on here too. I see Radical Agenda. I don't. He's not muted. He's got the permissions to talk, but I don't... He Oh, he's saying he's having a technical issue. So he'll join us. Right. Uh, yeah, well, we'll just go, and if they join us, then... Hey, look, every, I'm looking at the viewers. Almost everybody came back. Dude, we had over 2,000 viewers b- before when we went to break. That's I, that's the most I think I've ever seen for any of these live TRS radio things. I thought that was pretty good. Oh, Chris. Uh, somebody help Chris. You need to adjust the... Uh, your user settings on the bottom there. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Oh, and there's Alex. Alex is here. Is Ghoul here? What the fuck? Come on, guys. There, there you go, go. Chris. Hey. We got gotcha. <laughs> uh, you. Okay, can you guys hear me? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I hear yes, you. Ghoul. Yes, we We're hear all you. back. We're okay. all back. Everyone's here. All right. Now, I don't know where Andrew is. If he comes in, then then that's fine. Um. Okay. Yeah. So if we weren't if we were if we weren't running that loop that whole time, we would have been able to do all this off the air. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. I can't. I can't. I can't do. It was this. fun. Yeah, it was fun. That was actually like the loop for ninety minutes was more entertaining than the bait was. I don't know. I have pretzels here. I might eat some. I don't know. What did you think? I mean, the the it opened up with like, who is she arguing with? Like this, the Trump up trickled down. <laughs> he fucking he, saw uh, her in the first. I really the wish that brutal. they'd done the trade shit last. He fucking killed her. Oh, he destroyed yeah, the her. first half hour. He was yeah. murdering her like it was so like good. it was it was really good. And then it got into other shit that was not as good. What what, what makes me go black pilly is like she's she's doing that trickle down stuff and he's never come close to any kind of position like that. But the people she's talking to might believe it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I mean, the only, the only the thing she's down wrong. is the catheter, right? Crap. <laughs> I mean, the the economic stuff. She fell back on like really standard, yeah, Democrat talking points right. and basically saying, uh, you know, more money for them programs, tax the rich, which that's been their line forever. They're never going to change it. Right. Uh, we know who they're talking to when they say that. Is they're talking to? the Gibbs, like they're talking to the people that want Gibbs oh, yeah. because, you know, they are the rent seeking party. They're the party of people that want to take from the people that produce. And Just I don't think niggas. that that matters one way or the other. Just frankly. Call them like, nobody is going to be convinced. Nobody that's not already voting Democrat is going to be convinced by this talk just of like raising taxes niggas. and shit. Like that is <laughs> that. Yeah. I mean, it's not just, not just blacks. It's Mexicans, it's single moms. It's all the, the rent seekers. I'm, of I'm dealing with a bunch of fucking addressing, drunk lunatics is what I'm doing. Yeah. That's who she's addressing. Lunatics. And that's who likes that. <laughs> He's never going to get that I, shit. So if, like, you, if you can hear me, fantastic. I can't hear a fucking word on any of you, so if somebody could give me some better advice than hit Alt F4, that'd be fucking fantastic. Oh, no, he can't hear us? <laughs> oh, Chris. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I, I have to say, yeah, one, of my, one, of my, one of my favorite moments was the, yeah, for 30 years interruption. Yeah, yeah, he had some. He was he was dancing her hard at the beginning. He had that made me. That made me. I, sh- I I was like shit myself laughing at that one. No, yeah, he, no, was, he, was, he was he was consistently was really interrupting her, and then she would try to interrupt him, and he would stomp right over her. So I mean, that part yeah. was solid. Yeah, the first half hour was great. It was a massacre. It got kind of bad in the middle. He didn't. He didn't. Uh, I mean, in terms of the just to finish on the economic stuff, she was doing standard Democrat shit, and he was doing. Like, he was falling back on some old-school Republican stuff. Like, he's talking about cutting taxes and cutting regulation, and that's all That's all fine. But when he was really on is when he was talking about, you know, we're going to keep the companies here and keep our jobs here. And I think that really, to be honest, given what the swing states are and given who he's talking to, I think that, that alone 
might be enough because the people that are losing their jobs in the Rust Belt are not worried about like tax increases on the rich. Like they don't, that's not actually motivating them. Tax increases on the rich is motivating to, we know who it's, it's motivating to the rent seeking class. Like the, the working class wants companies and jobs coming back. And so that's, he was way, way, way better on that. Um, it started to falter when he, he could have pressed harder on the emails. I mean, they're going to spend 15 minutes talking about Obama's birth certificate and like not even press her on the emails. He's going to like pr press him on this bullshit with Howard Stern, like that. He said he's for the Iraq war and not press her on her emails. I mean, it's like, that's fucking bullshit. Um, I think bullshit. Trump, Trump could have navigated some of that shit better. Like it, when it came to that war question, I would have just said, Lester, you're lying. You're fucking lying right now. Yeah. I think that I think his answer to the uh, to the Iraq War thing should have been "shut up, shit skin," and that's exactly what he should have said. <laughs> he should have exactly like, said the fucking, fucking birther thing too. It's like, listen, nigger, I'm not going to fucking entertain your bullshit. <laughs> yeah, but you, yeah. you, you notice really, that he actually he addressed the moderator by name, kept saying "Luster, Luster, this, Luster, that." So yeah, this is exactly. It's like if I want your name, I'll give it to you, Toby. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, he, was more, he was just more personable than Clinton as far as the how he interacted with the uh, moderator. Yeah, he should have. He should have been rougher. He should have just like shut those questions down fast and not like he didn't need to explain Howard Stern and Sean Hannity. He should have been like, "You're lying. I'm not. I was never for the war. It's a lie. Right. Why are you lying on national TV?" And that would have. And, and then that, he should have also pointed out she voted for the war. Why don't right. you ask her why she voted for the war? Right. Ask and like, why the fact that he didn't it. do that, he should have done that. That would have been a huge, huge. That would have been huge. And he didn't do that, and uh, you know he could have done could have done better. Well, you guys, I'll I'll get back to this. Sec. Chris, what else did you have on that? I didn't want to jump in prematurely. My my my, my point. I, I I'm I'm really honestly very disappointed in this. I don't know how many of you listened to me tonight, but you know I was looking forward to this. Like I was like, he's gonna get on top of her, and he's gonna rape her in the fucking dance until she has a fucking stroke on national television. Mm -hmm. It'll be fantastic. And what I ended up with was like exactly what Charles Krauthammer and all these other kike assholes have been fucking telling him to do, which is play it cool and not fucking upset the goddamn Democratic Party. It's like, oh, well, you know, I'm, a, I'm actually a very reasonable person, and I don't want to say anything too bombastic, because that might upset the fucking coons over in the fucking Detroit area. <laughs> and, it, and it's not going to goddamn do anything for him, and I'm fucking furious about the entire thing. I feel like so up, like upset and let down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the I, I, the, the think, I think that I think there was there's sort of a weird middle ground happening there because I think he was, I mean, he was pretty bold in certain regards, but not enough to, you know, be effective. But and, like uh, this is this is where this is where honestly sort of like what he, he gave tonight what he gave tonight was exactly what fucking Glenn Beck wanted him to give right <laughs> it's exactly what fucking Mark Levin wanted it to, it to give no, no no I'm serious here and I understand that not everybody on this fucking panel is going to agree with me from an economic perspective what he's saying here is he's like listen I think that the United States federal government should control a fucking economy and do whatever the fuck I wanted to do and everything is within the purview of the United States federal government which is, means an omnipotent state which a lot of people in this country are pretty fucking turned off to which is why they tend to vote against the fucking Democrats. When he comes in there and he does, and he's like, he's like, okay, I agree exactly with Hillary Clinton. I just think that we should, you know, shuffle this around here and there. And by the way, I'm not going to uh, go after Hillary Clinton. I'm not going to go after any Hill of Hillary Clinton's demographics. I'm not really going to go after any of Hillary Clinton's ideas. I don't want to scare the fucking audience. And I know that this is exactly what everybody's been advising him to do. But I feel like. There's nothing was uh, he didn't set himself apart in any way tonight, which maybe if you've been one, you know, if you're one of these MSNBC viewers who's just been told that Donald Trump is a fucking Klan supporting, you know, <laughs> nuclear bomb flinging asshole. And you watch this for the first time, you're like, oh, maybe he's kind of reasonable. Then perhaps like, that's maybe that's exactly what you needed to see. But my my perspective on this has been from the beginning that the reason he won the Republican primary, the reason that he became what he has become, the reason why I'm looking at this guy like Jesus fucking Christ. Christ, you are like everything I've ever wanted in politics is because he went and he smacked these fucking people at the stage. And this woman who's in her fucking deathbed, practically dying on the fucking streets of New York City, fucking losing consciousness and shit, is like, oh, no, I'm just going to discuss policy. And bleh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was definitely, yeah, I mean, it, was really, it. it was really normy friendly. Like, it was definitely, I felt like I was just watching a regular old debate. Like, there was nothing, there was almost nothing special about it. I mean, it, yeah, I got to tell you, though, if you thought, if you think that he should have gone, like, full on like, free market shit on the, on the, on the economic part, like, the, that would have been the fucking suicide. Like, whatever we are, our personal opinions 
on this R, like he would have shot himself right in the face by doing that. Like he, he actually did set himself apart by actually being protectionist, which no, nobody has been. And that's actually what working class people want. So whether or not you think it's a good policy, if you want him to say what people are going to like, he would have fucking shot himself directly in the face if he started going full free market shit. So that's that. I mean, I think he also believes that, but, um, but so I, I think he think, actually like, fucking I, killed her. I think he killed her on that segment. That was his best shit. And yeah, he basically yeah. implied she's totally in the pocket of, and, and everybody knows, like everybody knows she's in the pocket of the yeah, fucking oligarchs. Like, get, get everybody her. gets that. Who, who believes her? Does anyone in the country believe her when she talks about, Tax cuts for the rich and and giving huge you know giving reach arounds to Wall Street. I mean, look who she is. What what does she represent? I mean, right. she represents all of those. How like does anybody? I mean, also, I, how out of touch am I? I'm she's... like scoffing at that. Like, I mean, people one are, thing that Chris will like is that he did put her in a position of arguing for tax increases. Yeah, which is never fucking popular. That's never so good. like yeah. he's saying I'm going to decrease taxes and bring back jobs with protectionism. Frankly, that's everything that his base wants to hear. And he killed her on that segment. Um, yeah, him, I, I, you know, him my, yelling my, my about thing the... on it is simply this: like, like, I, like, if you want to have, um, I feel like you can present the argument, right? You're saying like, this is why tax increases kill jobs. This is why overregulation kills jobs. But he's not going to make that case specifically because he's saying, I want taxes and I want regulation. I just want them over here, and thus I cannot <laughs> make the case that taxes and regulations. That kill case jobs isn't going to do what shit I want. for him, though. But that case is not. It's not going to win. He's got. He's got to win, and that's not going to win. Well, I mean, that's a losing what, 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 fucking look. Politically, that's a losing fire. fucking argument. He's going to. His whole base is going to fucking just jump ship if he starts making. I mean, you got to understand, Chris. That is a not a popular position. People don't like it. I know it's. You think it's totally correct, but people don't like that shit. But I'm saying, like, there's no argument being made. Even if the argument is something completely different than something I agree with, I don't feel like the argument was made whatsoever. This is the 3D world. It doesn't matter. Arguments don't matter. He's got to present well. Right. You got to play the democracy game, and that's always that. That will if you want to play the democracy and you're going to win, you're not going to look smart by the end of it. (laughs) Well, yeah, that's that's sort of the problem with this. Exactly, I understand. Yeah, no, I mean. Like we gotta fucking satisfy the plebs so they vote for us. So let's That's say a bunch of things that are completely sp- fucking speaking of plebs. Don't bring any prosperity to anybody. Can we talk about the four hundred pound elephant in the room? <laughs> what the guy that's hacking uh, the DNC? <laughs> it's a four hundred pound neat in the room the sitting on the four hundred pound green bed. frog hacking into her emails. That <laughs> hacking the cyber, protecting the, <laughs> the DNC server. Listen, cyber is know. cyber is tough. <laughs> I was like, woof, woof. on that entire, I, I was know. like, what is he? Am I just stop talking? You don't need the whole two minutes. Yeah. You're saying nothing. I think like the last hour was just what? What am I watching? I was so hyped, man. After the first half hour, and then it was first, just first like, half hour was fucking solid. Though. It was hit after hit. Hit him, after him hit. not letting go that NAFTA was the worst thing that happened to this oh, yeah, economy it was, was just like was I was fucking. I was yeah. fapping through that. That was great. I wonder how. Yeah. I, I hope that hits home with a lot of people. I mean. Yeah, I wish that that had just been at the end. It would have been a fucking tremendous victory for it. Like we would all be saying he killed it if that was yeah. the thing that they did at the end. You, of are you guys? Do you guys? Do you guys are? Are you guys under the opinion though that like the like we just talked about how arguments don't win shit, right? Because people are dumb, fuck, dumb as a box of fucking rocks. Do you think that the average American <laughs> voter today, of all these millennial fucking shitheads who are concerned about the goddamn safe spaces, do you think these fucking people are like, oh, that's right, he's completely right about that NAFTA thing? I was watching that. These no people have no fucking idea what they're talking about. Do you think that's a win? argument well that's i think going after NAFTA is a, is a winning position don't get me wrong i think it's a correct position and it's not because i favor uh, all of this protectionism i just don't think nafta is real free trade but it it, it it is a true thing that he's saying but i don't think uh that that the general electorate uh, understands well, this for a fucking hole in the wall i think the general electorate hears that and they hear outsourcing bad and i'm gonna make this company bring this factory back to your state to the extent of yeah. whether or not that's actually true who knows it's not probably not a zero-sum game when you do that but that's that that's a good mo- it's a good argument in that sense i mean that that's how i take it like okay he's doing this with the intention of saying okay manufacturer you you can't Go set up shop in fucking Costa Rica and send it back over our border with no tariffs at, and undercut what's possible to be uh, created here in the in our country. So that's over with. And I, I think people who ha- people who are unemployed or all these white people out here hooked on on heroin with with no jobs or whatever whatever the uh, the fucking stereotype is now like this that's the cure for it. 
people see it that way. Yeah, and, and who fucking... Why should I give a fuck about some abstract principle if I can okay. use the power of the state to help my people? Why should I give a fuck about some abstract principle of free trade? Do you, do you want me to make that case? I mean... Not really. I mean, because I know what you're going to say. I, I it's just... Saying. The, 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 the abstract principle that I would make, and I understand that, like, in the current situation we're dealing with, it's like, fuck off. Because the fact that it matters is... <laughs> no, no, no. No, let me just, let me just, let me just try, okay? Because the idea is, if there was free trade, there would be a series of economic circumstances that would be more favorable. The fact that we don't have free trade, the fact that we are getting fucked over by all these countries, I think one of the things he brought up, uh, which was something I wasn't even aware of, but he mentioned tonight, is that, like, okay, we sell to Mexico, there's a 16% tax, they sell to us, there's not. Well, you know, that's not free trade, asshole, that's privilege checking. Right. Yeah, but, but that's fuck you, America, get paid Mexico, right? Yeah, but do you think that's the bullshit. Answer, do you think the answer is repealing the 16% tax going into Mexico? Like, the fucking beaners are going to buy all kinds of shit from us, and we're going to... On, you know, we're going to balance that deficit. I don't think that's the way it's going to work. Also, I mean, like, it, I mean, it doesn't cares? much much like well, who fucking cares? But it's also like much like the benefit of of open borders and open immigration is the benefits all on the brown people side of the table. It's the same with free trade too. Like they get to trade with rich people, we get to send money to poor fags with brown. I, I don't like what's the good in that. Like, how does that benefit? I mean, it benefits some people, but it's well, a big expense to a lot. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of open immigration, so I wouldn't... No, I, wouldn't I know, I know you're not. I'm just, say, I'm just whatsoever. saying, I'm just saying, like, the same the same kind of principle applies. It's like, okay, it's like low low agency, low IQ, brown right. people coming in. It's no, the, 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 the difference... The difference We're not talking about economics anymore. All right, all right. The, 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 I'm cutting it off. Real quick, just, just the trade difference between okay. trade and immigration, real quick. Goods always have somebody who wants them. People are a completely fucking different story. When hordes of unwashed masses... I'm pouring it across the border with fucking nothing, and they get subsidized by the United States federal government. That is a significantly different thing than when I buy something that I want from China and it winds up at my fucking house. Very different story. That's yeah, why you I buy it from across. somebody in China because you can get away with not buying it from your neighbor. When you, I think you should buy it from your neighbor. Well, you know what? Sometimes I think my neighbor's a fucking entitled dick who voted for a higher minimum wage and he should get fucking thrown out of a helicopter. Well, okay. Still, though, I mean, maybe you'll have another neighbor. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, the, 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 I don't the know what this is. This is talking. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mike doesn't want to do this. No, no, eat my ass for a second. Okay. That fucking Ooh, I don't want to eat your ass. <laughs> so, okay. So, well, it was good to be that the, kind the whole, of party. <laughs> the, 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 I mean, the, the concept is that, like, from a perspective of, of nationhood and people, it's not just like your neighbor, meaning yeah. like a, te a, te a tabula rasa, like, individual. It's like anyone who. It, we have a distinct group with distinct interests, and we would like to benefit those people the most. Now, if, if some fucking faggot if throws a fit about free trade, says, no, I want to outsource to here because it will make more money for me, I don't give a fuck because I care a lot more about uh, my own people as a whole. Even if, we, even if we reach a like Pareto suboptimal solution by protecting industry here, like I don't fucking care like we're gonna use the tools at our disposal to help our own people like uh, I'm, you're never gonna make me feel bad about that on behalf of some theoretical principle that is actually not empirically provable so you know i don't think we need to fucking talk about the economic everybody gets libertarian economics like everyone here i I, I i i would i would beg to differ i don't think everybody gets libertarian economics Dude, we're not I, arguing I, it doesn't matter we're not arguing libertarian I think that most libertarians don't get off. libertarian right. economics. Cut him off if he's going to talk about it. All right, all right. Well, let's, let's move on to something. That, let's, 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 let's just change the subject. We don't have to. All right. Well, what I'm just saying, if he's not going to shut up, right. then. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 you know, we can do it. Move Please. on. He's doing good. We'll move, move on. on. Move on. The next thing. I just talk next about non-economics, and I won't make economic arguments. <laughs> I promise. Um, let's talk about blacks. We'll all agree. <laughs> Busy cover mobile. What did you think of the DR three? Was there? How was the DR three? Mike, wasn't as bad as it was. Wasn't as, was as Trump, bad as I was Trump, expecting. Trump, Trump did what we knew he was going to do. He, he just stuck with law and order. He must have repeated that phrase like what six or seven times. Wow. When I wish, uh, I wish when, he would go on a little more. He was invited more... to do DR three. He didn't do it. He did yeah. bring it up later on. Yeah. But when he was essentially given the question, where he's expected to do DR three, he mm -hmm. didn't. And that was good. He went. He focused on law and order, and he kept saying it. I mean, he must know that that's a word that people like. Yeah. But um, 
But yeah, yeah. He, said, he said it like he wanted to bring the TV show back, though. <laughs> we gotta bring back Law and Order. I oh, seen him. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't need to bring back that show. <laughs> I, I liked when he got into the the stop and frisk stuff uh, when they challenged him. On, it was found unconstitutional. I wish he had been a little more. I wish he had sold it a little more on the uh, the technicalities there with the judge and, and the and the mayor not uh, pursuing. Yeah, the appeal. that's another thing where that's another thing where the argument is actually technical, and he it's yeah. he did kind of actually do that, but it's not something that everybody to, can grasp. Like you have to find it, a yeah. way. Yeah, you have to find a way to take something that's technical like that and turn it into a quick, sound bitey, easy thing that that maybe make up some kind of analogy. I don't know. He needed something else on it because that's a good point. <laughs> It's a good point to say I'm going to be the law and order candidate in in New York City. We had this we had this uh, this process this this policy in place that yeah it was found unconstitutional by a judge, but this new mayor and you try you take this mayor you tie him to Black Lives Matter you tie him to Obama you tie him to Hillary and say he doesn't want to continue this policy because of another a, a separate agenda. You just do whatever and and present this as something that a responsible politician would be pursuing and would be doing for his people that he's not, and that Hillary is that kind of person that goes, and then she goes, well, they found it unconstitutional. It's like, yeah, they found it unconstitutional because stop and frisk is targeting people with brown skin because the people with brown skin are the ones that need to be stopped and frisked because they're the ones doing crime in New York City, if anybody looks at the numbers. So he could have presented well, He was also I, correct. I also that- found pretty staggering about this. And anytime, it's still funny to me to have somebody get in, into an argument about constitutionality with a gun grab a lunatic like Hillary yeah. fucking Clinton right. in New York City. Because you know what? The judges in New York City are so concerned about the United States Constitution that getting a gun a, a carry permit in that, in that city, you got to be a fucking diamond deal with to do it yeah right and and they're gonna tell me that my constitutional rights are not protected when i'm like a a professional uh business person working in a in a respectable district of manhattan but you know some fucking didn't do animal walking around with a 45 caliber high point in his fucking sagging down jeans he's really fucking important because his fourth amendment is being violated The funny thing is that, yeah. like, uh, he, he Trump's also right when he said that it's not it, that murders are going up. Of course, you know when you have uh, the way they frame this shit is bullshit because he's right on that, right? And and the moderator is agreeing with Hillary Clinton that like murders are going down. That's not true. Murders are up eleven percent as of two thousand fifteen. As and, of recent you know, statistics, and, which and it's, it's, it's part, yeah, I mean that's something that you know that's actually well, something that we, came out today, but in New York City they're definitely up and yeah. uh, if we if we pull it back like 30, 40 years, then it, <laughs> it looks yeah, good, I mean right? they can they can say like yeah it's it's gone down over thirty years relatively, but I mean they they're saying it's lower than it's ever been, which is not true because it's going back up and that's the Ferguson effect. And he said it's going back up and he was right, but they don't, the the way it's framed, it's like the way the whole thing is framed is that any assertion he makes is like fact checkable, wrong, a lie. And that like Hillary's assertions are fundamentally trustworthy. And and he's got to turn that around. He's got to figure out some way to turn that around. I think really he did a bad job staying on the offense. Like he was on the offense for the first half hour. It was great. And then he kind of let the yeah. initiative get taken back, and that was bad. And I'll, I, he's got to figure out a way to keep that initiative for the whole ninety minutes. And what he's got to do, he's got to think of all these. They, they're always going to cover like these main topics, right? It's always going to be mm-hmm. like um, trade, uh, security, um, you know, healing our nation, and all this bullshit. So he's got to think of a way in every one of those that he can keep attacking. Keep. He should not have let the email thing go so quickly. He let it go way too fast, and the moderators. It didn't have any plans to ask a question about that. I mean, if he hadn't brought it up, they would have not said anything. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's a really fucking, good point. They're going to yeah. talk about Obama's birth certificate, and they're going to talk about, yeah. um, you know, bullshit. Like, and and you know, the good and, and what, thing the, is the, the, the is housing it, policy didn't didn't the moderator bring that up, or is that uh, Clinton? Who was it that asked that question? The oh, the ha- what you mean with the the suit of the yeah. lawsuits against him for housing. Yeah, uh, that was the moderator, I think. I don't know. It was one of the yeah, yeah. Oh no, I think she brought no, that. No, it was up. Hill Dog. She brought that up. Yeah, your dad got I sued. Mean, <laughs> it, it really, it, it, it is crazy that the moderator didn't say anything about Hillary's emails. You think that would have been one of the 
Well, no, I don't think they were going to say anything about it. He brought it. He he did do a follow. Like, Mister Mister Trump just brought up your email scandal, and he did ask her something about it. But it was like he totally let her skate. She just got to say, "Well, it was a mistake I made." It's like, yeah, I mean, that's it. You want a fact checking? You want a fact checking moderator? It's like, oh, a mistake you made that would land a normal person in fucking jail. <laughs> yeah, he should have. He should have made them spend like fifteen minutes on that. Basically, and every any time he was. Try. Anytime they leveled some accusation at him, especially the birther shit, he should have just been like, oh, give me a break with that nonsense, and went right back into hit her on the yeah. emails, hit her on Ben Let's Gossett. talk about something important. Yeah, or you're calling, oh, now you're going to call me right? Because the, the, uh, the, what Alex just brought up, the, the lawsuits, the, the, uh, prejudice law he should have just been like oh oh gee you're gonna call me a racist neat well how about and just go right back into you know just just be flipped he should have also and, called her on calling the cops racist yeah because people yeah. don't like that like yeah people really don't like that something that they call like all cops right at least white people don't like it i mean well and more than that like it, but. you know what, what she went into was this you know concept of implicit bias that all of us have it that that is it, it is literally all white people are racist is is yeah. basically what she was trying to imply and i wish she would have ta- would have picked that apart a little bit because we get this yeah. so much all, so often from these left-wing fanatics you know down in charlotte there was this one clip i'm sure a lot of you saw it where this woman was talking to one of the reporters and she says you see this point in her skin show you see this point in her skin and she says well you know okay he got shot carrying a gun waving it around while the police told him to drop it but you know i could be shot at school or at work or sitting in my car because you know that's exactly what's happening is the police are going out and blowing black women's brains out while they're going to college for no fucking reason this is the attitude that these people have and going and challenging that i think is a good way to point out the ridiculousness of all this and it never happens yeah, I mean, and what she means when she says I could be shot with another black person, right? Like, like, that's who she could be shot with, like, going out shopping or whatever. The idea that, like, cops are, like, hun- it, 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 cops, like, hunting down black people is bullshit. Oh, yeah, We've because, already deconstructed it's a pro- that. Deadly. It's because there's a profit motive in keeping people in the prison. Yeah, like, what's the, <laughs> what, what, why, why are, why are, why are doing that? Yeah, oh, they talk about the four prisons, which isn't even a real thing. But, like, uh, yeah, I mean, he could have gone so much harder on if he had said, like, are you calling all white people racist, I would have, that would have been great. People would have really liked that, because, like, that's a, that's effectively what they were doing. Like, it's it's, it's, an, it's a problem that we all have. And here's the thing, like, Republicans hate that. They don't like being called racist. And most white people, I think, don't like being said, like, Nobody likes you're that. racist fundamentally. You know what I mean? So, yeah, he could have... I don't know. He could have done a lot better. And I've always felt this is why I've, I don't really like debates and I've never really watched them because I always know like a much better thing that he could say than what he's saying. And I'm just like, Ugh. but yeah, yeah, I like it was great she, for the first half hour. Though. I like how it, <laughs> you know, I, I disagree. I don't think slaughter. any part of this was great. He has the fucking potential <laughs> to be great. We saw him fucking call Jeb Bush low energy. We saw him call Ted <laughs> Lyon Ted. We saw him belittle these people who thought they were great men, make them feel like puny, insignificant kindergarten faggots. And then he went up there with Hillary Clinton, who's <laughs> half in the fucking casket already. And he's like, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Make your points, sweetheart. I wouldn't want to offend anybody. He should have asked her, like, so how are you feeling? Just throw that in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> you feeling yeah, about I'm, it? I'm, yeah, I'm he should have brought it up. Your mode yet seems to be clearing up. How's your fucking hypothyroidism, you postmenopausal piece of shit? <laughs> yeah, and, and, and the, uh, the fact that at the end he's like, you know, there was something I could say, and it's very mean. And I'm like, he's going to talk about fucking collapsing. He should have done it. Yeah, you know, like, did, oh, oh, you know, oh, you know, you know what it might have been oh, shit about Bill Clinton, like that, you know, because yeah. he said it's something very mean about you and your family, and I could say it, but I won't. And it's like, oh, he's talking about you know, dick and <laughs> dick and hose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, even that, like, what, what like, like, he's like, okay, well, uh, you want to invite Mark Cuban? I'll invite Jennifer Flowers. Like, I think he could have done better with like Juanita Broderick or one of these fucking rape victims would have been a better like reference. <laughs> yeah, the other thing is like when, like, when oh, uh, the woman who voluntarily sucked your man's dick. I think we get the woman who was like, Jesus Christ, he beat the shit out of me and fuck yeah, you. I cried one. for help. Would have been better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, people were saying like she's too exposed. I don't, I don't fucking know. Whatever. Like a lot of people don't even know who Juanita Broderick is because it's been successfully suppressed. So like people younger than twenty have no fucking clue. Maybe even younger than thirty. But, Are you uh, a conspiracy theorist? If you know who she is, I think you're, that makes you a conspiracy. Yeah, theorist, like right? actually yeah. even knowing who she is. Yeah, is, it's like, like it's like Benghazi. Job, yeah. You're just crazy. 
It's like birtherism. Yeah, well, you're just promoting these crazy theories. I mean, yeah. why, after all of these years, have none of them been charged with a crime? I mean, I, you're just I don't crazy. Know. You're just nuts. They didn't charge I mean, me for the emails either. I it's just, like, it's just yeah, like, yeah, it's just insane. Well, I mean, it's weird. Getting, getting mixed, getting mixed, the, uh, the, feed, getting mixed feedback in the chats and stuff. We got one guy saying he won. This why, this why, why not we shouldn't have a live. This why we shouldn't have a uh, live Spurg chat. It's just distracting. Mm -hmm. But um, the other thing is, when she was talking about how like he stiffed so many small business people. <laughs> oh yeah, that was great. <laughs> Clinton joke. It, it was like I was like, come on, dude, just do it. Talk about like you shouldn't be talking about stiffed. <laughs> you know, maybe ask your husband about getting stiffed or something like that. I mean, I feel like the whole political class would have turned on him if he did that. Like every single pun, it would have been like, "Well, I was out of line," but it would have been so fucking but, awesome. Yeah, if, I think the everybody would have, loved would have it. been, yeah. <laughs> and I think yeah. the polls would have reflected I mean, a nice bump there. You know, the thing I got to tell you, you know, I, I was in New York City working in IT, and I and I had to deal with a lot of construction crews dealing with like camera installations, IT installations, voice, this sort of thing. Okay, a lot of these people are fucking crooks. All right. And, and I don't know exactly what the circumstances were with each of one of his things and, and business bankruptcies and whatever. But I'm going to tell you right now, these a lot of times it's a ruthless business construction in New York City. And yeah. people will try to rip you off. And if you are not willing to say, hey, I won't fucking pay you, you can't yeah. get anything done. You have to be able to say, fuck you. Go ahead. Take me to court to get a job done a lot of time. And I don't blame him one bit for any of that. No, nobody. Nobody blames him for that shit. Like. It's just, yeah, it's just what you got to do. And these people will, like, tr try and, like, charge you for, like, every little... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, change orders. Like, let me just say change yeah, orders, orders, okay? <laughs> change orders. Yeah, I mean, like, anybody who's ever been in construction knows what I'm talking about. Like, these people are like, oh, you want this? I'm going to charge, like, $10,000 extra for this thing that cost me $20 worth of equipment to run because they think they can get away with it because they're like, oh, and then you're going to have to fire me and hire a new contractor, and that's going to cost you more. And they do all these yeah. sick asshole fucking things. The construction industry in New York is fucked is partly because of all the pro-union policies of the New York City government. And so you you get fucked over six ways from Sundays, and if you're not willing to say, hey, fuck you, you're not going to get paid for the work you do, then you have no negotiating position. He's a smart right. guy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, I mean, they'll, they'll like, get you, to, you know, you'll be paying for, like, these Mexicans to sit around for, like, eight hours. You know, and it's like, what? what is this? I'm not, they're just literally just sitting around. I mean, you walk past construction sites in New York City, and there's just Mexicans <laughs> lounging around. It's because like, El Jefe's not there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thing, El no Jefe isn't there. He comes back, and, like, they'll stand up and maybe mill around, pretend to work. And the, guys, and the guys who work hard, they get shouted at by other people who are senior union people who say, you're making us look bad. Calm the fuck down. Yeah. No, I mean, that is legit. I actually had a friend that got his ass doing that. But um, Yeah, it happens all the fucking time. It's sick what happens. But yeah. So yeah, I mean, I don't think anybody actually blames him for that. I mean, that's such a bullshit thing. I mean, the the like intimate digging. I mean, just the the whole is the whole spectacle of the intimate digging into the details of his company when you have Hillary Clinton who's, who's been like one of the most corrupt people in public life for yeah, thirty almost thirty years, and like, there's no like picking apart. Like, like, how much could you pick apart if you were like? It's like, what do they got on him? Four bankruptcies and some some contractors Not that he bad stiffed, probably rightly so. Like, that's it. That's what you got. Look at this person. <laughs> She's how many bodies? Where are the bodies with her? And like, how many of them are there? How many countries? How many whole societies has she like destroyed? <laughs> and like, it's it's like, dude, you didn't pay a contract. It's like, dude, you fucking destroyed three countries. <laughs> yeah. like, like, you're a man's murderer well you know you declared bankruptcy in accordance with the laws yeah, of the United States of America you, you were in thousand emails which are contain national security secrets fanatic what are you doing you were in favor of the action against Gaddafi oh who carried it out fucking cunt yeah. I know this was very briefly addressed, and I'm sorry to bring it back up because I know what we already covered this very briefly. But I'm so furious about them saying Lester Holt and, and all these people. There was the other one, the commander in chief for him, uh, uh, Lauer. Uh, you know, and they're like, "Oh well, you know, you said during this off the cuff interview, yeah, I guess. I wish that he had said those exact words. What he said to Howard Stern in that interview was literally, yeah, I guess, Howard Stern. Do you uh, do you agree with the invasion of Iraq or the Iraq war?' And he said, "I guess so." And then he, before the war even started, uh, as he mentioned, you know, went on the air with uh, Cavuto, talked to Hannity and whatever. I wish he had used those exact words. He said, 
I was asked off the cuff, and I said, yeah, I guess so. I support my country. Would have been a perfectly fine answer to that, and he's just acting like it never happened, and I, and I wish that he would uh, give people a, a more solid answer, and maybe politically, I understand people are dumb as a box of fucking rocks, so you just have to say, hey, dismiss it, they're liars, but I, I wish he had done that better, because I think he could have. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you got to wonder sometimes, like, where these brilliant fucking political analysts that are, like, advising people come from because it's like dude put me on his advisory team and maybe he just doesn't listen to them i don't know but it's like i'll have like we as a team sitting right here we could come up with like, so much better shit for him to see that would not be like just pushing our particular agenda but actually just be like killing blows on these things like and uh you know it's like when the fucking iraq war comes up you've got to mention hillary voted for it you know like if he's like yeah so howard stern asked me I said yeah i get yeah, he never did say that she voted for it. Like right. he, he had, to, he should have been like she fucking voted for it. Right. And if she changed her mind, she's got to tell us why. Why were you so wrong and changed her mind? Why? What was so bad about what happened there that you had to change your mind? So you were responsible for something really bad. Do you admit that? I mean, he could have done can, all this shit. Can I bring up the the worst fucking foreign policy pet peeve that I had? Like, why doesn't anyone say? When the shit starts, when they start flinging shit around about ISIS. Oh, I have a plan for ISIS. This one has a plan for ISIS. You don't have a plan for... Why doesn't he say, right now, our administration is having us bomb the people who are fighting ISIS? Yeah, I mean, that's... Like, why isn't that... Bro- like, what? What is the problem with... She can say, she can accuse him of, of being in bed with Putin or, like, in, actually, like, suggesting... That he is seriously saying that, like, Russian hackers should hack our government or whatever the fuck that ridiculous allegation. Like, why can't he say, why are you trying to start a war with Russia? Like, you want to basically escalate conflict with them. You want to start a new Cold War. Like, why can't he say that? Why can't anybody say that the good guy here is Assad? It's like... I, mean, it, just, I think it's a fantastic point because one of the things I'm most terrified well, about. I think we actually know. We actually know. One whoa, whoa, one at, a, one at a time. Uh, Chris, Sorry. you started up first. Go ahead, Chris. I'm off. Go, go, go. Oh, I was okay. gonna say we know one reason why. It's well, yeah. he talked to our pal, uh, Mr. Uh, BB. Yeah. The the great, great friend, friend to Israel. 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 He's, God, he's that... not happy. He's not happy, Goyim. <laughs> yeah, that shit. That shit really pissed me off. Whenever that. Yeah, you I was said fucked. That, that, man, yeah, I, was I hate that. That's like the one thing that makes me feel kind of cucky about this whole thing. Yeah. The, Come on, dude. That was not acceptable. But, uh, and he doesn't have to hey, say listen, that. The he, thing. He, he doesn't the guy have gave to his fucking it. daughter to a kike. You didn't think he was going to yeah. get his country over to him. You're out of your mind. <sighs> We're talking about levels of evil here, gentlemen. We're trying to deal with the less of them, and and you know. Uh, believe me, I don't fucking think that Donald Trump is a goddamn answer to all of our fucking problems. Uh, uh, yeah, Hillary uh, Clinton is is going to be, you know, we the, do the, think the, that. The, God damn it! I knew this fucking... was a mistake. This was excruciating watching this fucking thing because now we have to deal with these things that you know. I would rather just dream that everything is going to be fine. No, I'm just kidding. But fucking, no, well, you know I've well, personally my... been saying Donald Trump is the answer to everything. Oh, well, I know like, he is the answer to everything. Right. <laughs> Can you hear yeah. me now? Uh, whoever oh, that is, I hear you. Were, yes. you. were you muted? Sorry, dude. Apparently, I had no idea what story. Um, I, I, I wasn't doing. That. I didn't mean. Nobody has the power. Yeah, I was going to say, like when it came, when it comes to Israel, though, there's a reason why there are so many articles out there about Israeli either dual citizens or just Israeli Jews being like, mm-hmm. "Oh, evade Trump." No, don't vote for him. It's because yeah. he's he said many times in one way or another that uh, you know America first. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. That's, that's anti-Semitic, they, that's, that's, yeah, What are you yeah. trying to put parentheses around a man's name? Come on now. <laughs> and that, yeah, no, that's a, that's basically another show. Uh, like you can't actually, you know, put your own people first. That's uh, uh, here's, that's here's the thing. You know, there's a, there's another guy who also cared about his country. His name was Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> here's the question: uh, Do you think that when he said like I've been audited many times, and there's people that have never been audited? <laughs> <laughs> you think that was a dog whistle? I do. I <laughs> like, dog and there whistle. are people. There's people. <laughs> they never get audited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was a dog whistle there. Yeah. I don't know. I don't the know. funny thing is when the funniest thing is when when they hear a dog whistle. And like yes. maybe we didn't pick up on it, but they see it and they're like, This is anti Semitic. He said there's people that don't get audited. It's like, wait, why would you think he's talking about you? <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's is good. there? Do you know something we don't know? You know, I mean, so yeah, I mean that that's pretty. Because I actually didn't even 
Jews. noticed that before when I was like, again, reading it in another Jewish publication where they're like, what does Donald Trump mean when he says there's people that don't get audited? <laughs> Is this another <laughs> canard? Can real quick, just, it, just as long as we're addressing JQ type of stuff, I, I think the last time I spoke to you guys, I was not entirely sold on this. I was like, I don't know if you guys are right about them kites. <laughs> and what happened was, I installed that fucking coincidence to take the browser plug in. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, like, it ruined my life, okay? Like, I don't want to have friends anymore, because everything I see, I'm like, the kites did this. Jesus. <laughs> and, like, I wasn't, I honestly wasn't like that before. Put them in the oven. And, you know, look, you know, uh, dude, just read these culture. oven dodgers are ruining everything. It's true. <laughs> and the oven, goes. The oven dodgers. Oven Pop it in the oven. Yes, oven, oven dodgers. dodgers. <laughs> Fucking Christ killing. <laughs> I'm Jewish and a woman. Mm. Wow. I mean, I when I heard Jewish. him talking about that, uh, when I heard him talking about that, people not getting audited, I'm like, it's nothing but a second for the Jew. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> That got chewed up. Can you hit that one again? I didn't hear it. Oh, oh. God. My, my soundboard just fucking crashed. So. Oh, no! Wait, it's hold on, hold on. A little little, I'm racket for the Jews. <laughs> Oven right now is at 616 degrees. Just do these for a little while. I'm Jewish. Why is nobody doing the crispy kernel? His oh, soundboard God, just crashed, he says. No, I got it back. I got it back. Oh, you got it back. You got it back. But uh, I'm waiting for the correct time. Oh, all right. Right now is the correct time. Do it. Extra a world crispy. of pain. Oh, <laughs> shit. I stepped on it. Yeah, well, I don't wait. Fuck off. I didn't mean to. Extra crispy. Why an extra crispy? <laughs> <laughs> Cooking it down. The skin's uh, nice and crispy. That's uh, the wrong one. Oh. <laughs> that's pretty good, though. That was, I was, that was, I was looking for my sword. My art. Crispy. That's my good one, crispy. Am I an extra crispy boy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's just, just right. creepy though. So, That's good. Do we have any more uh, hard hitting? Hard hitting? I, I I I just I wish the the truth about Russia and ISIS in in Syria would be something that somebody would fucking touch. You know, it's kind of important. Kind of important. It's really, it's really Everybody important. wants to talk about oh, what a mess and, uh, the Middle East is. What a what a mess. What a mistake. If you're gonna if you're gonna campaign on the Iraq War was a huge mistake and we shouldn't have done it. How about like hey, look, we're running headlong into the same thing in Syria. Mentioned by the way, they're trying to change the regime again of a fucking secular a secular kebab dictator who's keeping like the fundies in line in that country. And oh, he's the only one fighting the great enemy ISIS, who for some reason isn't fighting Israel. They hate it. They, they hate Eric. Well, hey, yeah, boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know. He used, uh, he used chemical weapons against his people. I mean, yeah. It's, wait, where, have I, because, hey, where have I heard hey, that before? That's exactly. Yeah, exactly. Those, like, that's exact. It's copy and paste. It's copy and it's paste. It's the same thing. But at the same time, everybody's talking about how terrible Iraq was. But, <laughs> but this is like, you're right. It's copy and paste. It's fucking, it's fucking Jewish yeah. copy pasta. <laughs> Hilo, nothing different. Try to try to find something different. Try. I just, uh, let's just. I mean, let, no. I mean, that's that's like that's that's when it, you know that like, you know, there's big fucking things we need to break through. I mean, I is, mean, it, is, is it just start, it's just eighties nostalgia, huge, right? Huge, huge things we need to break through, and like this complete fucking everybody talking about this stuff is saying everything wrong, and, yeah. and you know the, the funny thing is that. The correct narratives are out there. Like we all know them, and 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 it's not just us. It's it's libertarians also know them. Uh, some leftists also know them. Like I think like there's a big chunk of the country that knows this is all lies and bullshit. Yeah. Like this is a, a big chunk of all on all sides. You know, on the right, left, middle, whatever. Maybe mm -hmm. not the middle. Middle, a bunch of fags. But like, you know what I mean? Like this is this is not like mysterious. Like we go into you know we go into any fucking hard left chat room and they're going to be right on board. Like this is bullshit. The U.S. is funding ISIS. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we, we all know this. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we got to get somebody out there that's going to be like, why are we fucking doing this? And not only are we funding ISIS, you know, we're bombing these countries, we're fucking funding ISIS, and they're bringing their people in. Like, how fucking retarded is that? Yeah, but unfortunately, the fucking far left chat rooms are usually like, we should not fund ISIS and bring their people here. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah right. why far left chat rooms I, I want to will. encourage, you know, every once in a while, I hear these ideas about what fucking kind of alliance can the alt-right make oh, with fucking no leftists, right. and the answer is, we can fucking give them helicopter rides. It's the end of the fucking extent. Yeah, no, 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 I'm so, not saying there's an alliance that can be made. I'm saying is that they, right. they know that 
they know the truth on some of this stuff. Of course, right. their 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 moral premises and their narratives make it imperative that like they believe that if we didn't bomb these people Whoa. and we didn't fund ISIS and we still brought them over, that you know everything would be a okay and they turn up. into white people or whatever. But hold up, you know you're, we were saying before about the dog whistle with the IRS. Some mm-hmm. uh, root for thought uh, linked in the chat right here. Uh, it's a Washington Post. Donald Trump says IRS audits could be tied to being a, quote, strong Christian. Yeah, no, that's definitely a dog. <laughs> I'm always audited by the IRS, which I think is very unfair. I don't know. Maybe it's because of religion. Maybe because of something else. Maybe it's because I'm doing this. Although it just recently, <laughs> this is just recently, Chris uh, Cuomo cuts. What do you mean religion? Well, maybe because of the fact I'm a strong Christian. I feel strong about it. Maybe there's a bias, Trump said. You think you're getting audited for being a strong Christian? Well, you see what's happened. <laughs> I mean, come on, yeah. <laughs> Doctor Dr. Robotic in the chat. He puts just strong Christian with uh, stars of David on either side of it, which is always <laughs> hilarious. I'm just looking at it real quick. But uh, listen, gentlemen, I'm gonna I'm gonna punch out real quick. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna do plugs. ChristopherCampbell.com, radicaljournal.com. Sure. If you want to catch up with uh, with more of me, iTunes, Stitcher, Roku, YouTube, all that stuff. Thank you guys very much for having me on. I had a fucking blast talking. Yeah, yeah man, Chris, th- thanks for sorry, jumping hey, on. Sorry, man. I got a little bit salty. Salty. Don't worry about you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you don't want to get fucking salty with me, motherfucker. You come be a guest on the show, and I get salty with you all fucking Ooh. day. I enjoy it. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Challenge, Challenge accepted. accepted. Yeah, to fucking do it. Okay. I don't like we'll all this soon. salt talk. I don't know. All right. Well, you know what? We'll fucking. Uh, you know, uh, 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 yeah, I don't know. I was going to make a uh, degenerate reference, but I'm not going to do that because yeah, this, this is a sounds, wholesome uh, program. I'll see this you. This is a wholesome soon. program. Take it easy, Chris. Sounds, see it. Sounds okay. Sounds pretty. Sounds pretty all right. 